Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started with the reading today, I'm going to tell you guys about a giveaway that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a giveaway on YouTube and also on Instagram, okay? So to give away to those of you who don't have Instagram and also to give away to a lot of you guys who are affected by the virus or unable to purchase the reading and also just to support you guys. I really love giving you readings and I really appreciate all the support you've been giving me so I want to give back to you guys. So quick disclaimer for the readings, you need to be 16 years or over, you can be anywhere in the world. Um, also all my readings are channeled messages, they are only information from my spirit guides and also all the, all the readings will not be health orientated, that I don't do health readings, so just to put that out there. So all the information, if you don't wanna watch through this part of the video, you can just look down below in the description box. But for those of you who want to just watch it visually, this is the rules. So for YouTube to enter, all you need to do guys is you need to just say your favorite part of this video and also your favorite crystal. You can also include some information, you can actually include an Insta Instagram handle or anything if you want me to contact you like by that. But if you don't want to include any personal information, I will just give you my email address and you'll need to email me. Um, I will let you know in the comment section that you've won. I'll put my email address in there and I'll let you know and then you can email me for the reading. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So to enter onto the Instagram giveaway, all you need to do is you need to follow my Crystal Girl account, which is at the Crystal Girl underscore, and also my jewellery account on Instagram, which is Crystal Creations Co underscore, okay? Then go back to my Crystal Girl account and say, I enter your favorite crystal and tag one friend, okay? Also, you need to share the post onto your stories and that's how you enter. So you can do this as many times as you like, you can tag as many friends as you like, you can literally share, you can literally post as many times as you like. Um, but yeah, so obviously you won't be able to win both giveaways, um, but that's how it works. So if you'd like to enter, all the information is down below and good luck to you guys. The giveaway will end in 10 days as of posting this video. So make sure to enter and I'll hope you enjoy the reading. So let's get started with the reading. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're gonna to be doing your May love predictions. So we have group number one, two, three, and four. So this is gonna be a love prediction for May, what's gonna go on in May. And let's just jump right into it. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you guys are going to have coming towards you in love in the month of May. So let's have a look and see. So the overall energy we have from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck is community, lovely. That's beautiful. We then have Kundalini rising, channel your creative passion. We then have wisdom. So for a lot of you guys, you're gonna go through a massive transformation in May. I feel like you guys are really knowing, figuring out what it is that you want out of life. And you're figuring out that you want a community and you're gonna have a lot of wisdom through this community, okay? So you could be meeting somebody in maybe in person if we're allowed out. Um, but also you could be finding somebody who you really connect with. Could be over the internet. I mean, if we're allowed out by then, then we mo most mo likely meet them in person as well, okay? So it could be somebody you already know. It could be somebody who's part of your community, could be part of your friendship group as well. But I do feel like there's definitely some sort of wisdom around your friendships, around the people who you really connect with on a soul level, okay? So let's have a look at the rest of the cards. We'll put the tarot in last. So we then have Kunzite Children, Third Iron Heart Chakra. So this is all about you connecting with your childlike self. This is about you tuning into your child, child self and saying like it's okay and reconnecting with that inner child part of you that needs nourishment and needs affection and needs t um, care and love and affection. So I really feel like for you guys, it's important for you to really look after that part of you and do something very passionate and creative this month. I feel like that will really help you to channel that love energy and help you to open up your heart chakra. So we then have the sun. We have the third house of perception and we have cancer. So you could be meeting with a cancer, your person could be a cancer. We also have the sun here, so it can be Leo as well. I do feel like you've been working a lot on uh, the way you accept and receive love. So I do feel like that is gonna help you to unlock a part of you, okay? So the person you could be connecting to is very, very good with speech. You're most likely gonna meet them through social media, I feel like for this group as well. Um, they could be quite popular on social media, they could have quite a few followers, they could have 
quite a lot of popularity. They could also be a Cancer, Cancer Moon, Cancer Venus, Cancer Rising. They could also just be very, very nurturing. This could also be your energy as well. You could also be a Cancerian. But I do feel like it's definitely an energy of like birthing, children, emotions around this group. So I do feel like you're most likely going to have children with this person when you meet them. Um, also, it could just mean that you're working on your childlike self. You know, you're learning to do things that are more fun, more creative, more loving, more open hearted, that sort of thing. And you're learning to just embrace life and um, as it is and not to control it. That I feel like is probably the best message for you guys because there's a massive amount of wisdom coming through. Could be coming through from your throat chakra as well. So it could be an element of speech. I do feel like with we do actually have speech because the third house is Mercury, it rules speech. So you could be having some sort of discussion that actually caused you to have some sort of like moment of clarity and you realise what it is that you want out of love, okay? So we then have Ace of Swords, so definitely communication coming in. We then have the Five of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, reverse, okay. So with this spread here, you guys are definitely learning to embrace who you are. You're definitely learning to um, be very passionate and creative. This Queen of Wands, she's very, very unique. You know, she is her own woman. She doesn't need anyone else. She is by her own, on her set, by, by her own on herself that doesn't make any sense <laughs> she is by herself but she is not lonely she is proper in her power so i do feel like the best thing for you guys to do is to really embrace who you are okay that's the best advice i can give you and also to know that good things are coming towards you okay for you guys i feel like may might not be so concentrated on love for you guys but it can just it can be depending obviously this is a general reading but I do feel like for you guys, it is mainly about you embracing who you are. There is a massive amount of communication coming in and say can be from a fire sign or a water sign. So let's have a look at this Ace of Swords. Let's just clarify what that is. Okay, so it definitely is to do with love here. We've got the Knight of Cups with the lovers. Oh my God. Okay, I was going to say there wasn't any love and then love suddenly popped out. So there's definitely some love for you guys definitely coming in. So for you guys, you have been waiting for this for quite a long time. It could be from somebody you already know, but it doesn't have to be for those of you who are single and don't have anyone around. We then have the Two of Swords. So it could be coming in with some sort of message and you're like, okay, I don't know what to do about this. So I do feel like there is some sort of um, change in the wind, change of how you see this person. So they could be a friend and then they suddenly turn into a partner. You know, it could be like, actually I'm starting to really fancy this person, I really like them, there is something about them that I really like, I definitely feel that coming for you guys. So let's pull you a couple more cards. Okay, we have Bluff, which is pretty much like the Two of, two of Swords, that Gemini energy. We have Empathy, and we also have concentration with rebellion rebellion comes up all the freaking time it's so interesting so for a lot of you guys you could be thinking no that's not true like oh you love me that's not true you know you could be thinking no that's not true like you're not you're just kind of washing it away like no 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 no. it's not important um so for you guys you could have a uh, someone coming in and you don't really believe that that's how they feel it could also mean that they are somebody who is very empathic you know you could be the empathic one or they could be the empathic one but they are, de someone's definitely coming in with an offer, really coming in with an offer. And I feel like that's very, very like concentrated energy. It feels like they've wanted to say this for quite a long time as well. So if you have an idea of who this is, it may be them. Uh, but with this concentration card, they are saying, telling you to just concentrate on yourself because that's going to give you the best results in love as well. And I really feel like for you guys, you're really focusing on your body and figuring out how to kind of work on your body, your fitness, that sort of thing, and getting your body in a very stable place and that will help you emotionally to be stable as well so that was a very quick reading but i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and if you would like a private reading um all the information is down below also all the information for the giveaway is down below so i really hope you enjoy this reading and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number two welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here let's see what's happening for you guys in may for love okay so let's see what cards we have first card out is imagine so that's very very positive i feel like a lot of positive energy is coming from this card i feel like you guys have the have the ability to imagine you have the ability to see 
what it is that you want to have and I do feel like that is coming in for you guys okay giving yourself the permission to be imaginative and just really allow yourself to imagine what it is to be like with this person and really kind of be in your childlike element this month as well and be very much connected to that light-hearted energy as much as possible so we have listen up you're working through deep soul patterns release any outdated beliefs that surface this I feel like is very concentrated. It's very concentrated energy. That's why I feel like it's really good for you guys to focus on light energy. I mean, obviously release it, but really concentrate on the things that make you really, really happy, okay? Because that's going to make you, that's going to make this process easier. But there's definitely a lot of strong elements to this group. I feel like you guys are really concentrating on the deeper things, which is what obviously the best thing for you guys to do, because that means then we can really concentrate on where it is that we want to go. The bad spirit is also about new things coming in. So I do feel like there is something coming in for you that is new. With possibilities, this is showing me that you guys are like a snowflake. You are individual. You are your own person. So don't compare yourself to other people. And also there's so much possibilities that are coming towards you is unreal. It's just imagining that things will happen for you guys and knowing that things are changing. Change is in the wind and it, is, it changes upon us, guys. It changes upon this group. And it's just knowing that things actually will happen. You may have lost faith in your love life. You may think that nothing's going to happen. This is just saying there is massive amounts of possibility, okay? And look out for the number three and the number two. I feel like they're very, very strong, um, very strong messages for you, okay? So the next card up is Carusite, Travel, Root and Crown Chakra. So obviously it is quite hard for us to travel right now, but I do feel like this is a lot to do about your stability and the way you communicate with others, okay? So I do feel like it's really important for you to work on possibly anger. You may get quite a bit of anger coming up this month, so just be aware of that, and really try and diminish that into the earth. So if you can't get outside, be it around um, some plants, or if you can ground yourself within your roots, like um, imagine roots going down into the ground. But if you can get out in nature, definitely do that. That will help you to get grounded, and that will help you to manifest this person, because you're working on yourself you know and that's the most important thing so next cards we have are libra saturn and taurus so you could be connected with a taurus or a libra i do feel like it's a lot to do with your balance as well how balanced you are within your love life how how much balance you are creating within your love life because you're going to get quite a lot of wisdom there's definitely de as i say a lot of grounding and taurus is a very grounded energy it's an earth sign so this is all about you guys creating balance and you may even be growing fruit in your garden you may be growing uh, vegetables or something like that peaches can also be an element of something quite cheeky so i do feel like a cheeky offer could be coming towards you as well and it's definitely to do with creating harmonious balance and also you could have libra or taurus quite prominently in your chart somewhere and that's just an extra clarification that you're going to get a lot of wisdom around that okay we also are in taurus season so this is going to probably affect you guys quite heavily yep as i say heavy energy we have the death card exactly so that's really really beautiful wow guys ace of wands two of pentacles ace of pentacles wow death card and the ace of wands this is a massive massive shift happening this is you guys really fulfilling your own need really understanding this is what i want this is where i'm going and this is the balance that i'm talking about guys you're needing to shift out of the old and mo move into the new you guys may actually be moving house as well you may actually be um i'm hearing deserting your old life so you could be um, deserting an old relationship when i say deserting it doesn't actually mean deserting it's just the way they're saying it to me it's like you're just exiting the premises on an old relationship. I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be breaking up, you could be having a divorce, something like that. That is, if you feel like it's the best thing for you to do, that's where you're going. You're going to this positivity. And you could have an offer coming in, can also be from a Scorpio as well, uh, Pisces or Cancer. Can be, I'm feeling quite a strong Pisces pull from this group as well. The person that you're connected to, I feel like is quite a light energy. I think they're going to be somebody who's going to help you a lot within your career because they're going to help you to feel more yourself. Therefore, you're going to attract much more abundance. And this two of pentacles, as I say, is about balance. It's about, okay, how much work-life balance, how much love-life balance do I give to this relationship? So it's literally all about balancing those two things out. And the Ace of Pentacles is really about an opportunity coming in for you guys, a massive amount of opportunity. It can be to do with career as well. You could meet someone through career, but it does feel like a massive passionate offer. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this can be your first person you're going to be be like doing intimate things with. It could be your first partnership as well. 
but also for those of you who are looking for a, like quite an intimate relationship and are like that have that scorpionic energy this is a perfect relationship for you and that's coming in for you guys i feel that very very strongly okay let's pull a couple more cards lovely we have fortune and decision that's literally what these are we have like the the energy of the sun here and also the decision is like it's deciding to take up this offer because it's so much like passion i love that that's so good okay let's pull a couple more lovely we have assertion so we've got an aries and we've got a leo here as well so you could be connecting with a leo and an aries this person can be really um, assertive to you and you're going to have to make a choice with them. I definitely feel that. I feel like you criticise yourself a lot. There's definitely a massive extreme energy with this group, but I feel like it's more about how much pressure you put on yourself. Let the gas, put your foot off the gas and make sure you're not putting so much pressure on yourself. Okay, guys? So thank you so much for watching. Sorry this reading was a little bit short, but I feel like I used to do like little short readings today. So Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to enter my giveaway, all the information is down below. If you want to purchase a private reading, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys in May. So we have the first card, which is this one. Insight, lovely. That's really, really beautiful. So number three could also be something that's quite prominent for you. You could be working with sacred geometry and also the moon. So that could be extra messages for you. And also your third eye is opening for this group. Or you have a very open third eye. So we have lion, honour your soul and celebrate its journey. Lovely. So it's basically just making sure you're not diminishing any of your the things that you've gone through. Because you've gone through a lot, guys. And it's really important to celebrate the things that you have been through. Because sometimes when we miss that it's like we're not actually giving ourselves space and time to say, look, I'm really proud of myself. Like I'm really proud of me. I'm really proud of you as in you as in yourself. And just really being and really acknowledging that because that's very important. It's very important for your journey, you know, because you go through so much and we forget that that's how much we've gone through. You know, it's, it's absolutely amazing, you know, and very um, similarly, I had a reading recently, which was very much connected to my old self which I found so 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 fascinating because I was like wow I've gone through so much I've done so well we, I've and I've gone through things that I never ever thought I would actually get out of so and it's really important to think like wow like I did that I did that by myself and I'm and I'm fucking amazing so we then have Unikite live in the present heart shark cross this is going to be really important for you guys sorry it's like a a dog and it's being really freaking loud um so living in the present is going to be really really good for you guys so living in the present will help you to to, leave, to alleviate stress and anxiety so the next two cards we have are wow beautiful we have 22 and number nine blessed and treasure island so this is absolutely stunning guys you guys are definitely going to get a massive amount of love coming towards you a massive amount of opening a massive amount of just energy flowing towards you and also with the blessed energy I really feel like for you guys it's important to just be aware of your own your own potential like you have so much potential and really really use it you have so much so many blessings coming towards you and this wateriness is really showing me that you're going to have a lot of emotional like a big emotional wave coming towards you which is going to be really really positive for you so I just heard you're unlocking your whole potential which is wow that's so stunning um okay so the next card we have is mercury in the 11th house so most likely going to meet somebody through a community through group activities they're most likely going to be a friend first okay the word experimentation is coming through so you could be experimenting with a hobby and therefore it kind of pushes you towards this person it could be that you're experimenting with a new job and you didn't think that you could do it but actually you try it and you're like wow this is really fun and therefore um they come in with an offer okay you could be the first person to actually bring forth the message like you could message them first wow vicky i'm i'm sorry for the the words like it's funny how we're talking about words and communication and i can't get my words out so most likely you're probably going to have trouble getting your words out with this person because they're probably going to be really attractive and really sexy <laughs> okay so we have wow 10 uh, oh my god 10 of wands well okay 10 of wands <laughs> four of wands we have four of cups 
we have the is this in the reverse this is in the reverse so i definitely feel like for you guys you're really not acknowledging your past i think you've really got to acknowledge how much you've been through because i think that's what they're really trying to show here and we have the sun wow lovely so for those of you who are really kind of accepting yourself who you are really kind of saying look i've been through this and i'm freaking proud of myself that is the energy that we want to be in because that's going to really shift you forward towards this person okay and it's really going to help you to feel much more lighter so this person is most likely going to give you an offer and you're most likely going to be quite scared of it. You're like, is this the right person? I have no freaking clue. Um, yes, they are the right person. I feel like it's just really important for you guys just to honour your journey and to know that everything happens for a reason. This person will come in in divine timing. Very stable as well. We have four and we have two. So two, two is obviously four. So very, very stable. This card always comes out. I don't know what it is about this card. But the spirits love this card. I don't know what it is. I think it's about rebelling um, with your spirituality. I think it's literally rebelling against the system and being spiritual. I think that's literally what it's about. So if you guys, this person could be very, very spiritual. They could be a lot like you, I feel. Um, very determined. Are very concentrated. So they have very concentrated energy. I think if you, you'll know who they are when you see them. You'll know who they are when they start talking to you. And basically, it's really important to just detach from um wanting this because it's not going to help you in the long run otherwise you know the more you want it the less it's going to come towards you and we have 11 three times so it could be a twin flame coming back from the past it doesn't have to be guys twin flames aren't that great so i wouldn't be so i would rather have a soulmate than a twin flame to be honest been there done that got the scars so <laughs> emotional scars guys but i'm fine i'm fine so we've worked for it we are full on and we are fine so we have quarrel empathy and bluff so you may not believe this person when they give you the offer you may think oh no 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 like, i haven't been with anyone for a while or you know i don't know if this is the right thing this is amazing and for those of you who are actually in relationships i feel like your relationship is going to be very very concentrated and you may be working on something together or doing something new together which you've never done before we then have vision sun in pisces so for you guys you could be meeting with a pisces as well pisces or aquarius and this is going to be somebody who's going to open your eyes to love completely open them. Like we've got eyes here here and here and it's also vision so it's literally going to open your eyes fully to this new love so thank you so much for watching if you want to enter my giveaway all the information is down below and if you want a private reading as i say all the information is down below i'm going to pull you a couple more tarot before i go actually Wow, yeah, you guys are really stepping up into your own energy. That's absolutely beautiful. Whether you're a female or male, it doesn't matter. Okay, so it can definitely be from an air sign I'm seeing, but that can also indicate communication coming in, like a passionate offer. Okay, we have the justice card. Definitely something solid, something that you've been waiting for for a long time. And it's funny how we have vision and we have insight. So there's definitely something that's really opening your eyes, guys. It's really, really opening your eyes. Yep, what did I say? Ten of Wands. <laughs> there it is. Letting go of old shit. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. So you do, could definitely meet this person through work. And they could be somebody who's quite far away. They could be in a different country. Or they could just be in a different state or a town. Don't feel anxious about this, guys. You can get through it. And you will get through it. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you in the month of May in terms of love. So first card out is peace, wow. So you guys are really searching for peace at the moment. I feel like you guys are getting a big sense of peace coming towards you, this relationship coming towards you or this life that you are living. I feel like you're in a sense of peace right now. I feel like you are very much in that element and if you're not, you are definitely working towards that. So good for you guys, keep working on that. So the next card out is Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. Then have be open through this transitional time. So as I say, a lot of you guys could be in a peaceful and um, a peaceful time. But if you're really feeling not very peaceful, just know that this is a transitional time and it will pass. There is quite a lot of water going on as well here. So for you guys, you could be feeling a lot of emotions. You could be feeling a lot of deep stuff that you're like, oh God, don't know what to do with this. Um, I would recommend EFT, very, very good. It's like tapping, you can tap all the points on your hands. Um, also, I highly recommend acknowledging and releasing, where you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling any emotion like sadness about, and then you say what it's about. 
And then you then say, uh, hang on, let me do that again. Uh, <laughs> uh, I acknowledge part of me feeling sad about whatever. And I choose to let this feeling flow right now. And you put your hands on your heart, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. And then you look kindly at yourself. I look at my right shoulder. You look kindly at yourself like you would a puppy. And you're like, it's okay. We got this girl. We freaking got this, okay? So a lot of wisdom is surfacing as well. So don't be surprised if you have random crying outbursts. We then have sextile, Leo lover and Venus. So we, it's funny how we have Leo the lover and then we have Venus love right next to it. So there's definitely a lot of love for you guys coming in. A massive opportunity to collaborate with a Leo. Could be just a collaboration with a fire sign as well. But there's definitely love there. So there may be a collaboration that you're working on. And there may be a project that comes up. And there could be somebody who's a Leo who works on said project. And then that's how you meet them. That's just one scenario for you guys. So it doesn't have to be that for everyone. There is definitely some potential here for love though. And there is. it's funny how we got... Uh, calmness and we have peace so I do feel like calcite's very very good for you this or clear quartz or selenite all good crystals I mean I feel like calcite's probably the best for and for grounding and calming because it's very like it's a very earthy crystal I mean obviously I know all crystals are earthy but this one in particular very very earthy so massive amount of potential coming in color of the bl blue color again so I do feel like you guys are working on your throat chakra as well you're working on those roots to help you feel grounded and help you feel stable. And it does feel like you guys are really rooting yourself in the ground. And if you need to root yourself, you can just imagine roots going into the ground. There's definitely an element of something new coming out of whatever this is. And I feel like you're really rooting yourself and moving upwards. So love is definitely coming your way, guys. If you are looking for love, we have a plant like twice. So I do feel like you guys are growing. You're growing into your own self. You're growing into your new, new skin. And I do feel like that's definitely coming in for you guys. Like calcite is so lovely. It's such a gorgeous crystal. And I feel like this energy is very, very prominent for you guys. And there's definitely an opportunity for love and it's welcoming, it's welcoming you in, okay? This transitional time is leading you towards this happiness, okay? So we then have the hermit. Yeah, that's exactly what you guys are going through. You're going through such a transitional time right now. King of Cups, lovely. Six of Swords. And the moon wow so there's definitely somebody who is coming in in terms of love this person could help you through this transitional time there could be a friend as well um cancer energy here we also have virgo and we have um the cancer here so we do have a lot of water so you could be a water sign we have would have cancer scorpio pisces and also virgo i do feel like there's a lot of earth and water in this group as well there's definitely an element of being like a little egg and kind of hibernating and then coming out and feeling very, very positive and happy. Okay, so I really feel like that's coming through for you guys. And for a lot of you guys, you could be either walking away from a fire, uh, sorry, from a water sign and again, gaining a lot of knowledge because of that. And this could be something that is deeply rooted within you that you may not even realize that is going on. You know, you may just have like a random crying fit or randomly thinking about somebody from the past and you're like, I don't even fancy them anymore. I don't even like them anymore. Why am I thinking about them? And it's literally just so you can gain balance in your life. So you can gain that experience so you can move forward. And it may seem scary at first, but that's okay. You got you, you can do this, guys. So I do feel like love is coming in for you. For those of you who have already released the past, obviously this is not going to resonate with you. But those of you who are already still holding on, let go of that person who no longer serves you. Because I do feel like some of you could be holding on to the past. And it could be affecting what's happening right now in the present moment. But it also could be that you're mourning the past, which is totally fine, guys, you know. Sometimes it takes a lot of strength to get through it, but you will get through it, and it's going to be fine. For those of you who, I feel like for this group is quite a complicated group. It's like about 15% of you who've chosen this group want love. For the rest of you guys, I feel like you've still got some healing to do. So whatever you feel like resonates with you the most, take that as um, it resonates. Okay, lovelies? So let's have a look and see what else we have. Or any extra advice <laughs> I've got cancer energy again so this is definitely an element of I'm I don't feel safe I'm gonna retreat back into my shell so 
I do feel like for you guys, if you need that time away, just really give yourself that time because it's going to help you so much to integrate this new energy. And you may be having some arguments with people, so just let that flow. There's definitely a lot of Cancerian energy, which is about the home, it's about your family, it's about your roots. So you could be having arguments with your family, so just let that go, guys, because there's so much more energy coming in. We have the moon and uh, sun in Pisces, so so much happiness coming towards you and this person you can meet could be in the public eye or you could be in the public eye um and also guys you're learning to not criticize yourself because that is what holds you back from your potential so you're learning to, you're, and you are going to get fulfillment out of this guys and it's also making a decision as to how you um what how what you think about in this moment you can think about the past and how awful it was or you're gonna really listen to what your body needs right now what does your what does your body need what does your in a child need and how is that going to help you in the future so i'm going to pull you guys one more card i didn't no, i didn't pull oh there we go that's it <laughs> the only card here and it says awakening your true self beautiful i love that so much and then we have be honest with yourself wow you guys are really going through some deep stuff but my throat <clears throat> i know i cough a lot in readings but i'm coughing a lot more in this one so Definitely working with that throat chakra, getting that energy shifting. I'd highly recommend calcite. I highly recommend uh, blue lace agate, lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli is really strong though, so just be aware of that. Also, um, there's one that I'm thinking of that I can't remember. Blue goldstone and blue calcite. I'm pretty sure it's a blue calcite, but absolutely lovely guys. Really working on your progress. Be doing an absolutely amazing job. Okay, guys. So. I do see love coming in for you guys, but it's, for, for you guys, it's mainly working on yourself, okay? But there is love around you guys, so don't feel disheartened. So thank you so much for watching this reading. If you want to enter my giveaway, all the information is down below. If you want to get a private reading, all the information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.